So it's my last day in London, just checked out of my hostel and I've got one more important thing to do before leaving, which is to get a brain scan. I've got an appointment later this morning. It's something called a QEEG. I don't know a lot about it, uh, but I thought maybe you'd like to come with me and learn about it as well. So you might remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on neurofeedback interviewing Dr. Andrew Hill. Well, he has invited me to get a free QEEG at his little facility here in London. He's mostly based in the US, um, but has a few places um, around the world. So I am currently accepting that invitation about to arrive um, at this at the place in London and we'll see what that all means when I get there. Um, bit of a weird question for you, Paul. Do you know your hat size? Uh, no idea. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to need to measure your, your head to get the right electro cap size. Okay. How about you? Fantastic. That round here. are 53 and a half so the whole session is going to last about an hour and a half um to start with we'll do a attentional test um and then we'll get straight into the brain scan for the attentional test it should last about 20 minutes half an hour um and it's a test that measures various components of your auditory and visual attentional system um it's very simple i've got you set up in the other room but essentially you just left click the, the button whenever you see or hear the number one very simple but also very boring and then we'll get straight into the uh brain scan right cool so i've got you set up in here the whole thing should take about 25 minutes um there's three there's three parts of the test there's the introduction which explains all the rules um there's a little warm-up period into the test last about 20 minutes and then a cool down um, all the rules are explained in the intro, but as I mentioned, you just left click on the mouse whenever you see or hear the number one, and um, and that's it. You will make mistakes if you go, but don't worry, just do your best. Okay, so about to take the attention test. I'm told it's not a trick question. I'm not looking for a gorilla. I should probably take out my earplugs. I'm looking for the number one. I've been paying attention to the instructions. I'm looking for the number one, either listening or seeing it, and let's see how I go. How did it go, Paul? Um, all right, I guess. I definitely felt myself getting tired a little bit. Um, it was only 15 minutes. I feel fairly confident. I feel like I'm fairly good at this type of thing. I got at least one wrong. There's one that I know that I clicked on a two and I shouldn't have clicked on the two. Um, and I love games and I love winning <laughs> and I love competition. And I'm like, come on, high score. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Now, what does QEEG stand for? Uh, quantitative electroencephalography, which is a bit of a mouthful. Quantitative electroencephalography. Yeah, yes, yeah, a nightmare to spell as well. Um, but I so it's a it's a big term for actually what is quite a simple procedure, where we are measuring the electrical activity across your brain, mm -hmm. and then what we can do is data analysis on those re on those readings. Um, to look at your specific brainwave activity, and we can compare it to an average which is taken from a database of a thousand normal brains, mm. and we can see how your brain activity is divergent from population norms. Mm. And I guess you get the average by literally averaging. Literally, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there is there is no one average. Average is not a person. Average is exactly a statistical. And everyone's like the no one's brain actually looks the same as the average yeah. that's taken from the database. So everyone's brain is weird. Mm -hmm. Weird is good. We like weird. Yeah. Um, it's just having a look at where. Um, certain brain activity that is 
divergent from population norms where that might be impacting your goals, be yeah. it around sleep or concentration, mood, um, various factors, which is what yeah. we can look at today. And we always look at the brain data alongside the attentional tax data. The reason being that if we see, um, for example, your, your audio attention is good, but your visual reaction time is bad, we can say, okay, is, does this match the brain data that we get? So, for example, if we see that um, your visual attention is bad and we see divergent neurological activity towards the back mm. of the head where the visual system is, we know that's a good target to go after mm. with brain training. Neurofeedback. Yes, I guess, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's pretty good. Just give those cool down on the, on the, yeah, those guys. Give it a pat. Cool. Um, so, blunt needle. Mm -hmm. Some people panic for that. Needle on the end. Um, blunt. So, what we'll do now is start gelling these sites to start with. We're going to put these ear clips in the cap. So, this is gel that we use to get a good signal. So, to start with, I'm going to get you to gel um, the ear clip. So, if you see these metal discs, Actually, maybe I can do it for you if that's good. Yeah. And now for the next step, we'll, we'll systematically gel all of these sites across the head. Um, I can do it for you. You can do it yourself if you like. Uh, I think it's easier for you. Yeah, I agree. Um, so. And this is Bluetooth, so this is transmitting your brain data directly to the computer. Okay. So we'll go into the recordings next. Um, we'll, so the total recording time will be between 18 and 20 minutes. We'll do six minutes of eyes closed, six minutes of eyes open, and then we'll go back for a second recording of three or four minutes eyes closed and three or four minutes eyes open again. But to first, what we'll do first is do a test of the eyes closed just for a minute. So with this pool, we're trying to capture your brain in its default state. Um, and that means kind of no deep meditation or falling asleep, but also no long division. Um, just try and relax and let your mind wander freely. One minute. Okay, I'll try not to fall asleep. Yeah. Okay, that's our minute up. So what I'm going to do now is upload that data into a bit of software that gives us a really clear view of your um, brainwave activity. And then that will give us some steps to potentially troubleshoot before we go into a full six minute recording. So now we're ready to go into the full recordings. Mm -hmm. um, if you are. Yep. So just, yeah, so for this one where you can just try and keep your eyes, eyes still, don't think too much about it. And maybe just try and soften your jaw a, li a little bit where possible. We should be all good. Nice. That's our six minutes up. Um, and I'm just going to regel the ground before we go into the eyes open. So we're going to eyes open next. Um, so it's the same deal as the eyes closed, but it helps to have a reference point in the room that you look at. Ideally low to the ground, so somewhere down here. And um, just kind of have that as a reference point, but don't strain your eyes too hard looking at it, rather just rely on peripheral vision. It's more of just a guidance. Um, but otherwise, same deal. Um, no deep meditation or, or long division. If you find your reference point, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Nice. That's our six minutes done. The eyes open. Um, we'll do three more minutes of eyes closed and three more minutes of eyes open. I'm just going to touch up. You're good where you are. I'm going to touch up these. It's actually quite the the eyes open line is actually quite draining. Yeah, for sure, it's um tiring, right? Mm. Okay, so when you're ready, Paul, if you take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Cool. That's us done for the eyes closed. For the eyes open, I notice a little bit of what's called EMG at the these front four, and this can either um, this can either be fatigue, 
or it could be that you're straining your eyes and your forehead's a bit crinkled. Well, I'll take the Yeah. Dark as if we turn this up. So, won't be able to get it on the camera though. That's fine. Right. Cool. No camera, but no. Potentially better daytime. Either. Massive down lights here. Cool. Um, so yeah, just the only thing for this one, Paul, is just try and relax the forehead where you can. Um, so this is our final recording. It's three minutes of eyes open. Mm -hmm. So if you want to find that reference point in the room that you look at, it's um, low to the ground. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose when you're ready. Oh, that's, that's all done, Paul. Nice. Okay. What was that? Um, tiring. Tiring. Uh, and everything is slowly going from okay to uncomfortable to a bit painful. Really? It's so, painful. Yeah, like um, like the clips on their ears. Yeah. And things. Cool. And the next steps, we'll do the data analysis and see what we find. And then you can have your review with Andrew. <laughs> I I definitely found like my my instinct at the end is like I can do better give me a second chance <laughs> um, I can feel I'm getting better at feeling when I'm tired yes and just recognizing the biological fact that you can't force your attention basically sure so sure and I've, I've done that a lot before where um, it, it actually started with computer games when I was a younger um, and just suddenly not doing as well. Mm -hmm. um, like, come on, give me another chance. I'll try again. I'll try again. I'll try again. But the, the only way is to actually have a break. Yeah. Have a sleep. Try again because you're not getting any better. Yeah. And also, um, a lot of the time, conscious processing can get in the way of just subconscious, which mm. is um, just when you're, you're doing it freestyle and you're in your optimal state to be doing it, often the conscious mind can get in the way and we can actually see that. A lot of work, there's lots of work being done in sport, uh, training something called um, sensory motor rhythm frequency band across the sensory motor strip here. And the idea of it is that it's associated with unconscious um, work and, and the idea that conscious processing gets in the way it's what sports psychologists call paralysis by analysis and you've mm. got a goal for who's thinking about the part thinking about it too much you're yeah. better off just to hit it yeah yeah it's also a um, exaggerated loop because if i start trying to concentrate that takes up even more energy and i'm even more tired and i have even less energy and have to try even harder yeah and that doesn't last very long for sure do you want a cup of coffee? Coffee. I hear the coffee here is actually fantastic. It is good.